Hello and welcome to the Excel VBA object series. In the previous video we saw that objects have properties and methods used to manipulate their objects. So well, some objects also have events. In this video we'll see what events are, what are the types of events, which objects have events, and how to handle or respond to events with VBA macros. In a broader sense, an event is an action recognized by an object. Some events are linked to the object, such as, for example, opening or closing a workbook are events of the workbook object. Excel VBA allows to handle these events with event procedures. So, in this case, we can access to the event procedure here under this workbook, selecting workbook on the left and the list of available events here on the right drop down. By default, the open event is selected, but we can add any other from the drop down. So, whatever code we write here executes when the workbook opens. For example, we could say MSG box, welcome to the uh, spreadsheet. And that message will pop up when opening the file. There are many other events here, and we're going to see that in more detail in the video specific of the workbook object. But some other events here actually apply to other objects, but are handled at the workbook level. For example, any of those starting with sheet, sheet activate, sheet before delete, and so on, those are workbook level sheets events. So if we add the sheets before delete event procedure, we can write code to run before a sheet is deleted in that particular workbook. There are also a few events of the window object down here, handled at the workbook level. Similarly, we can respond to events of the worksheet object here under the respective worksheet modules. And if we select worksheet, then we have the list of events on the right drop down. The selection change event is usually added by default, but we can add any other. So if we write code here, it triggers when the selection changes in that worksheet. We are going to look more into that in the video specific of the worksheet object. Now, note that some event procedures have parameters. For example, here we have the target parameter. That's the target range object that represents the cell or range that has been selected. So we can, for example, change the interior color of the cell when selected right in target dot interior dot color equals yellow. And as you see, when I select any cell or range, it gets yellow. And this up here means target is the name of a variable, which is a range object. And by val is the parameter passing mechanism. And it basically means we cannot change the value of a target in this case. And there are other parameters. For example, if we want to respond to a mouse right click on any cell, we can get that cell with the target parameter, as we've seen before. And note, there is another parameter here, cancel. We can prevent from showing the cell formatting dropdown, setting cancel to true. That's this dropdown here. And if I set cancel to true, you see it does not pop up anymore. And any of the sheets events at the workbook level usually have an sh parameter as an object, which represents the sheets object that is being activated or deleted, uh, etc. It's just here. So for example, when I activate a sheet, I can get the name of the sheet in a message box with message box sh.name. And as you see, if we activate any sheet, we get the message. Another object that has events that can be handled with event procedure is the chart object. So if I add a chart here, then we go to the chart module, select chart, and here we have the available events. The activate event is added by default, but we can add any other. There are mouse related events before right click, before double click, mouse down, etc., and some other. We will see more about that in the video specific of the chart object. 
There are yet two other objects that have events that can be handled with event procedures, but these are not readily available, and we need to add a class module to make them available. That's the case of application events and also embedded chart events. For embedded charts, those are the same that apply to chart sheets, the ones we've seen before. And for the application, these are actually workbook, window, and sheets events that are handled at the application level. I'm going to explain how to make those events available and how to use them in a separate video specific of the application object. So we have covered all the VVA objects that have events and can respond to those events with event procedures. But there are some other events that are not necessarily related to any particular object or not even to Excel. We could call them independent events, such as, for example, pressing a key in the keyboard or time-related events. Some of these independent events can actually be recognized by some objects, in most cases, the application object, which allows to write code to respond to them. For example, we can respond to the event of a user pressing a key in the keyboard with the onKey method of the application object. That would rather go into a standard module, so if I write here application.onKey t, for example, and an associated macro, let's say show total, and we have here that other macro show total where maybe we do some calculations and then message box totals are x, y, z. When we run the first macro, it turns the application to respond to the event of pressing the key T on the keyboard. So if I press T now, it calls the other macro and displays the message. We can cancel the trigger removing the macro and running that again. Another example of such events are time-related events. And we can respond to them with some of the methods of the application object. For example, with wait or with on time. We will see more about that in the video specific of the application object. So that was an introduction to events, showing which objects have events and how to handle them, and also how some other independent events can actually be recognized and handled with VVA macros. We are going to see more about all that for each specific object in upcoming videos, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.